down the middle of Vajra, the final name of Vajra is Panisetam Typhoids. So this down the middle of Vajra is a very serious disease in all Vajra growing areas of India. It is also occurred in many parts of Africa of India. It was first reported by Butler in the year of 1907 and Kulakorni in the year of 1930 about this particular symptomology and disease characteristics. Here we can see some of Vajra, which is going to be infected by this disease. Let us see the symptoms. The infected plants are dwarfed because of shortening of the internodes and filling is excessive. The foliage becomes a pale chlorotic and the underside of the leaves is covered by a rich whitish cover of sporangia, which are formed in abundance during two nights. The leaves may become destroyed and wrinkled and tend to split into cats. The casual organism of this disease, Sclerospora graminicola, is a casual organism of the downy milieu of Vajra. The fung fungus is an obligate parasite. We can see here also total disease spike is going to be affected. The yield productivity also going to be decreases due to this particular infection in the field. Let us see the disease cycle of the The mycelium is found in all parts of the systematically infected part, plant pores. The hypae are intercellular with bulbous hastoria. They are large acetate. The hypae are found in the ground tissue of the stem and the mesophyll of the leaves. The sporangium spores emerges in cluster through stomata. The mature sporangia follow seed and germinate in the surrounding field of water by producing juice spores. Relative humidity above 75 percent is considered necessary for the stimulation of sporangian productions. The host spores are produced in large number in the host tissue. Host spores might be carried on the seeds during harvesting threshing. Let us see the disease management. Alternation in the date of planting that particularly considered as an early planting stage. Multifications in the planting method, particularly we have to be follow this method in this activity. Removal of infected crop in residues, avoidance of uh, monoculture crop rotations, seed treatment destroying the spores streaking to the surface of the grains, Seed treatment, sedations, and top toe. Breeding of resistant varieties, that is about ICMH 451 and PUSA 223, are highly recommended for the controlling of this disease. Thank you very much.